Right Jade, the first weekend under hybrid power has come to an end. Uh, not been a straightforward one for you behind the wheel. I mean, how would you sum up your Donington Park experience? Bit of a bit of a roller coaster weekend for me. Yesterday seemingly was overall quite positive. Um, FP2 was, you know, top 15 pace before the the new tyres came on. I didn't run new tyres, so it was comparable and old. So I was positive going into qualifying. Unfortunately, had uh, braking issues in, in quali, which dropped me down. And today, uh, mistakes on my part. Race starts and still need work on, but also issues in house with the car and the engine and the, the straight line speed and stuff like that. So a little bit of work to do there. Um, but we've created um, enough data, lots of stuff to learn and take on to Brands Hatch and hopefully a positive start from that point onwards. And I guess then, like you say, the positives are the pace that was there in the car on Saturday. You know, it's shown that you could be right up there in the mix. Yeah, and that's the aim. It's to, it's to <coughs> it's to be in the points and to be in that next gaggle of cars and and you know fighting for for Jack Sears podiums and things like that. So today was disappointing, but that's not to say that we can't work hard and create um, create better weekends from this point. And um, I was just saying to someone there that you know touring cars have had a complete mix up. Uh, Alan Gow and the championship have still created as much entertainment as ever. So credit to them. We've just got a little bit of in-house work to do to sort our uh, overall pace out.